One of the biggest requests I get is how to create a grant budget template for either the grant opportunity or the grant profile. It seems to be that there's a lot of grant opportunities and grant profiles that are missing the budget piece, which is the second step in completing a grant profile in Horizon. So let me go ahead and show you how to do that. The sequence ID number is just referring to the row so that the system knows what you're talking about. Your grant code of your newly created grant profile or grant opportunity would be basically referring to your lead funding office as well as the donor code and the next in the sequence. You probably have a list of those that you need to complete by running a report. The country refers to the country that this grant is taking place in which most of the time is the same as the implementing office, although some of our offices are managing more than one country, such as Turkey and Syria are being managed out of the Jordan office. The PTL office, of course, manages four different countries. So just pay attention to that. Your resource type that you selected from the drop-down box could be more than one. Oftentimes it's cash. And then, of course, the funding office. In this case, this is Australia. But oftentimes there is more than one funding office. So which fiscal year are we talking about? Well, it may be more than one, but let's start with 2017. And then, of course, this is asking how much money is coming from the donor in donor currency in 2017 in the form of cash that Australia is going to book for this grant profile. So let's just uh, hypothetically say it's one million US dollars. If it's US dollars, then I only need a one for the exchange rate. So I have 2017 here, 2017 here, I can put one. Now, if I'm not using these other fiscal years, I can also put a 1. I don't want to leave them blank. I don't want to have a 0 because then the system will try to multiply by uh, a 0 or a blank and give an error. In the same way, if I don't have more fiscal years to use, then I can also put a 1 there. So I can go ahead and do that. Filling right. Um, I can also change this up here. If I want to start with 2017 and maybe do a 10-year grant from there, I can go ahead and start with 2017, come all the way over here. What I don't want to do is add more years or change the structure of the template itself. So now that I have the donor amount for 2017 in the form of cash that Australia is going to book, how much is Australia going to keep as overhead? Well, it may keep $10,000 behind to manage its staff costs and such in Australia. And then we have the required match. Now, if this Aga Khan Foundation, for instance, isn't requiring any match, then it's just a zero. But it's not blank, it's a zero. However, if Afghanistan needs additional funding um, in, ex in exchange for um, you know, the support costs that it needs to run out of Afghanistan that the donor won't pay for, then Australia can provide that. Maybe it's an additional 15000 I don't know. I'm speculating. So if you have a one year, um, one fiscal year, one resource type, one funding office, one implementing office type of grant, which most of ours are, then that's all you need to do. You can simply save it, close it, and import it. Of course, this one is a grant profile. You can tell because you've got the donor code in here. Um, if it were an opportunity, you'd have multiple zeros. So when you're importing, just make sure you select grant profile instead of grant opportunity. Hypothetically speaking, though, this could be a multiple year. So I can add a second row for the same grant profile, which is in the same country. Maybe it's still cash and Australia, but there may be a 2018 portion. And in this case, there might be only 750,000 coming in in the second year. And maybe there's a few other figures 
um, that there might be required. So that's a two year. And as long as I have a 2018 value here, then I can have my two years here, no problem. Um, so if that's US dollars, that's all I need to do. If I have multiple opportunities or profiles I need to catch up with and add a bunch of different budgets, that's not a problem. Row three can be, you know, once again, I'm working in Australia, let's say, and I, and I have a bunch to catch up on, WFP, Oh, and then I can maybe say something like this. Maybe this one happens to be in South Sudan. Oops, South Sudan, and it could also be in cash and uh, Australia 2017. And I can put my, you know, values. I'm going to copy and paste here. No problem. So I can have multiple grant profiles budgets uploaded at the same time as long as they're the same donor currency because remember this donor currency multiplied by the exchange rate is going to produce two sets of numbers in horizon a donor currency number and a US dollar equivalent so no pounds and dollars and Aussie dollars and everything in the same uh, in the same template create a different different template maybe name it your GBP or some other type of currency and import them separately. Um, you can also have in, of course, the WFP, you might have multiple um, resource types. So this might be food resources GIK as you selected. And that's the Australia version also in 2017. It's probably going to be a lot more money. Maybe no overhead because in food you won't have any um, match or overhead. We're not matching with additional food resources. You do all your matching up in cash. Um, if this is multiple funding offices involved, I can go ahead and do that quite easily. If I'm the lead funding office doing this for everyone, I could go ahead and have Australia and Germany and basically pull out the German portion. Maybe it's the same, maybe it's slightly different. Who knows? But in that case, I've got two resource types, two funding offices, one country, one opportunity, or one grant profile. So that's pretty straightforward. Only difference if it's a different exchange rate is to put the exchange rate um, for how to get to US dollars from your donor, cur donor currency. And you can do that for up to 10 years. If you have uh, opportunities that are, or, or grant profiles that are 2017 to 2018, 2019, and then you have an, a separate grant profile that starts 2019 and it has three years, four years out, as long as it fits within this 10 year period, you can use the same template. So hopefully this will make your life easier, catching up with all those grant budgets, multiple grant opportunities or grant profiles. Just pull the data from the profile you just created. So selecting the country, office, resource type, funding office, fiscal year, and put the money or the values in there for the appropriate group. So SO overhead refers to the SO here over in the funding office, Australia, or in this case, Germany. Your required match, of course, and your match is based on who's going to be paying for that in this funding office column. And of course, the donor budget, who's going to be booking that money over here is what this is talking about and what is the resource. So should be pretty straightforward if you're familiar with the data. If you have any further questions, find me on Skype or on email. Look forward to helping you more. Thanks.